Hello everyone. So in this video, I thought I'll probably uh, share and uh, talk about uh, one really important area where uh, you as an organization or as a team need to focus on, need to uh, spend time on. And that area is uh, educating and training your uh, your team on uh, on Jira or using the tool. And uh, of course, when it comes to using the tool, not everyone needs to know everything. Because uh, if you talk about Jira, Jira is uh, now uh, too evolved. It is no longer a tool that is used primarily by software developers or people who are doing some kind of software development. A lot of people use Jira. A lot of uh, different type of uh, teams they use and they are now trying to use Jira for delivering. I think uh, when it comes to using any tool, the, the idea of using a tool is uh, to ensure that you're able to collaborate, you're able to work efficiently, you're able to, of course, uh, uh, manage your work. But if you're not delivering, then uh, there's no point of using any tool. Now, in this video, I want to talk about uh, one specific role that is really important. I think uh, when you talk about the success criteria of uh, of using Jira, now you may be using Jira already, you may be uh, new to the tool, or maybe you are trying to change your processes. I think as a team, someone has to take responsibility of uh, the success of using your tool set. Now, your administrators would give you this tool or any tool and they will uh, let you use the tool and they expect that, I mean, our expectations from that team is to ensure that the tool is running, tool is up and, up and, up and running. That is it. That team might not uh, uh, know or they might not care about uh, how you're using the tool, whether uh, Jira is, or any tool, by the way, is... Uh, is helping you to deliver. If let us say you're trying to use a tool like Jira to develop a software, or maybe you are uh, launching a product, if you are able to launch uh, uh, on time with quality, then Jira will definitely play a major role because uh, people rely on a tool like Jira to plan the work, to track the work, to understand uh, where they are. Now, the thing is, of course, uh, there are so many elements when it comes to being successful, but one role, and and that is of course from uh, I'm I'm sharing it based on my experience. One 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 role that you need to really focus on is your project managers, and uh, this is something that a lot of people don't really spend too much time on. They of course start using the tool and they do focus on training, but most of the training. Most of the training that I, most of the education strategy, or basically upskilling, goes into Jira administration, not really on the usage of uh, the tool for uh, pl planning the work, especially the project administration. Now, Atlassian has this uh, project admin training, which is great, but uh, we have to basically think of using a tool uh, because when it when it comes to project management, when it, when it comes to, let us say, being a scrum master, being a product manager, you have to uh, detach your uh, core skill, which is project management, from the tool. Because when people start using the tool, they expect uh, Jira to do a lot of wonderful things for them, which it can. But uh, you should look at Jira not as a project management tool. You should look at Jira as a tool that you can use to do project management. And uh, again, if you have been watching my videos, I'm sure uh, you have uh, you have heard me saying this quite a lot. But what I wanted to talk talk about today is that uh, you should basically focus on project management. Uh, education, training, identify people who are responsible for uh, running a project. Now, it could be, of course, software-based project, or it could be your uh, non-technical project. Basically, for each and every project in Jira, there has to be an ownership, someone who owns that particular project, and that person, or maybe that role, uh, has to ensure that they know how the tool works, at least the project admin side of it. For example, let me give you an example of uh, 
a typical Jira software based project. Now, if, if you are a project manager and if you're trying to use the Jira for, let us say, some kind of agile methodology like Scrum or Kanban, now, first of all, you need to know, I mean, I'm talking about prerequisite, prerequisites. Number one, you should know what Jira is, right? Or how Jira works, because fundamentally Jira, if you have never really worked on Jira, or if maybe you have worked on Jira, you might not uh, know uh, how Jira essentially is supposed to work. I have mentioned this before, but of course I'll, I'll say this again. Jira is nothing but an issue tracker and you can do a lot of things on top of it. Now, how you are managing those, those issues, how you are planning those issues, how you organize your work, how you manage your team, how you define the life cycle of your delivery or the way you deliver your projects is totally up to you. You can use these features of the tool, but essentially Jira will, will let you store nothing but issues. An issue is nothing but uh, like a work item. It could be a task, it could be an epic, it could be a story, it could be uh, a subtask. So first of all, you need to understand these fundamentals of the tool, fundamentals of Jira. And that is basically for your project administrators. They need to know this. And then it comes to uh, what you want to do with the tool. For example, if you're talking about software development project, then you have to learn about uh, these features of, well, let us say, a typical software-based project where you want to use, let us say, Scrum. And uh, when, you, when it comes to Scrum, you, of course, will create a board. And whenever you create a Scrum-type board, you will be able to create, uh, basically, various sprints. You can, of course, work on the backlog. You can configure your board. You can configure... Uh, uh, your uh, team members, you can do estimation. So of course, whatever knowledge you have of, let us say, Agile, and that is very important. If you're trying to use Jira for Scrum methodology, and if you don't know what Agile is, then maybe uh, you need to first focus on that. And again, your and I'm saying that your project managers, your Scrum masters, your product ma managers, they are, they are key. They are important because they have control. Usually if, if people, because I work with a lot of teams and I know what happens, I mean, what exactly is the problem. People start working on the task or they basically start or start working on the task. Like they have, they will have like a list of epics. Then they will have, of course, someone will break it down into stories. But there is always, whenever I see a challenge, I try to talk to the team members. And every time I encounter this, problem of lack of ownership. So if you have a team, you may have a team already, but if there is no clear ownership of activities, then uh, you will have, you will have, you will definitely have issues. So someone has to own the backlog, for example, someone has to own the sprints, someone has to own the sprint, someone has to own uh, the progress of uh, your sprints. And uh, the tool comes later but your uh, processes, your well-defined, uh, organized uh, team with clear ownership is very important. And you have to basically write it down. Of course, you can do it in the tool, but you have to announce it. You have to make it uh, published somewhere in your company or maybe in, within your team that, okay, this person is the responsible for person for uh, maintaining the backlog. So whatever goes in the backlog will be approved or will be, uh, or, or someone authorized will do this. And similarly, uh, people who will be responsible for uh, the outcome, they have to be, I mean, th those people have to be well-defined, not only in the tool, but in your processes. But when it comes to using a tool for planning or for delivering, uh, project management uh, part is very important because uh, these people actually are responsible for uh, uh, delivering. And uh, if they know how the tool works, then you... I mean, number one, you should have like a clear defined processes, clear ownership. And then if these people know how the tool works, then I don't, I don't really see any reason why you will fail um, in your delivery. Of course, there could be other factors. Sometimes you have some unrealistic expectations, but that is, of course, not really the tool's problem. The tool will let you do whatever you want to do. Uh, but uh, if your managers are educated, trained and they are uh, not timid. So, so people who are uh, managers, they have to be in a commanding position. So ask questions. For example, uh, I've seen uh, project managers, they look at the tool, they look at the burn down chart and they know that the burn down chart is going down or not going down, it is going up or there is no or like progress. 
then they have to take action and it has to be done every day in your daily stand up calls don't really wait for the end of the sprint to uh, fix things or uh, uh, do some firefighting and uh, again if you know how the tool works if you know where to find your burnt down charts if you know how to create your own filters and get notified if you know how to do quick assignments if you know how to do bulk assignments if you do if you know how to create a sprint quickly if you know how to start or end the sprint then then you will be able to basically effectively run your uh, scrum and that is why i think uh, based on my experience i think uh, if you are trying to roll out jira or if you are uh, trying to improve the usage of the tool in your organization if you think jira is there but it is not really working really well then uh, identify those project managers scrum masters product managers and talk to them understand if they know how the tool works and uh, at the same time have like a very clear well defined uh, uh, strategy around uh, your delivery processes along with jira all right that is it enough enough lecture for today but uh, i hope i hope this video was useful and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye